Hindustan Oil Exploration Company, HOEC, decided to convert their jack-up drilling rig Key Gibraltar to an offshore installation unit, which will be installed at the Block 80 field of Mumbai High. Zentech team surveyed the stacked rig in Bahrain. Zentech was responsible to develop the complete scope of work and select an appropriate shipyard to carry out the conversion. Zentech team reactivated the rig and towed it to Lamprell Shipyard in UAE for the conversion. As part of the conversion, Zentech performed the elevated analysis for the expected elevated load and 50-year environmental conditions at the field. The study identified the need of strengthening of both spud cans and legs to meet the ABS requirements. Underwater U-Wild inspection was carried out as per ABS requirements and 20 tons of steel was added for strengthening the spud can. This entire operation was carried out while the rig is in a float condition thereby avoiding the need of any dry docking. Elevated analysis revealed the need for the leg strengthening. Both cords and bracing are strengthened with doublers. A total of 100 tons of 100 KSI steel was added between bay 29 and 32. Marine growth is removed and new anodes are installed for corrosion protection. The new splash zone is blasted and painted. As required by class, both the hull and leg is UT gauged. 40 tons of steel is renewed in the hull and living quarters. All tanks are cleaned, inspected by ABS, and closed. The LQ externals and roof decks are degreased, cleaned, and repainted. Leg well and external stairs are repainted. The whole main deck of around 2,000 square meters is blasted and repainted. All deck structures, handrails, and equipment are repainted. The machinery deck areas are cleared of unwanted materials and repainted after cleaning. Around 1,500 square meters machinery area is repainted. Zentech PMT carried out the major and top-end overhauling on three numbers Caterpillar 3516 main engines using OEM-approved third-party company. The engines were load-tested after the overhaul. All of the three pedestal cranes are inspected and serviced in line with API 2C and OEM recommended practices. The starboard PCM120 crane's boom and gantry was removed, inspected, and serviced as per API 2C. The boom ball's bearings are replaced. The crane is load tested and witnessed by ABS. The port NOV DN60 diesel hydraulic crane's boom is removed. The gantry and hydraulic systems are inspected and serviced. The deformed boom pinhole is remachined. All hydraulic hoses and bearings replaced. The crane is load tested and witnessed by ABS. The aft PCM120 crane's boom is removed, and gantry and motors are inspected and serviced. The crane is load tested and witnessed by ABS. Five-year annual inspection of jacking system as per ABS MODU rules are carried out by approved third-party vendor. All gear units are inspected, cracks are repaired, and seals are replaced. Jacking system is reclassed and approved as per ABS rules. The rig hull ventilation fans were removed and taken to third-party workshop for overhauling. The bearings and damaged parts were replaced. The ducts are repaired, cleaned, and repainted. All marine system valves are inspected. All valves are either serviced or replaced with new. All marine utility systems are inspected and serviced. The fuel centrifuge, pressure sets, sewage plant, and welding machines are refurbished and tested. One water heater and two reverse osmosis type water makers are added. Existing raw water submersible pumps are replaced with two new pumps. Four pinions are installed on the inboard cords as fifth layer for the port and starboard legs. This was done to take account of the additional environmental loads on aft legs. Paint locker is refurbished as per ABS rule. Existing rig compressed air systems were inspected, serviced, and tested. One compressor was overhauled and one new 75 kilowatt compressor was added. New dedicated instrument air dryer and receivers were added to cater to the process system's requirements. Bilge pumps were overhauled, sumps cleaned and repainted. Valves were serviced and replaced with new. A new oily water separator was installed. Rig switch gears, transformers, and panels were cleaned and serviced. New breakers were added for the feed and back feed from process gas generator sets. 
Existing CAT D353 emergency genset is replaced with more powerful new ABS-certified Caterpillar C18 generator set. The switchgears and room are modified to install the new generator set. The port and starboard lifeboats were recertified by OEM representative per SOLAS rules. Trial runs were completed, and the davits were load-tested. The fast rescue boat is serviced and reinstalled. The PAGA systems, fire and gas detection systems, were serviced and recertified. Radio license is reactivated. Modification to the marine fire and gas system panel was done to interface with the process fire and gas detection system. One existing fire pump is replaced with new, and other pumps were overhauled. The existing firefighting and life-saving appliances were serviced or replaced with new, as per SOLAS rules. The existing CO2 system is refurbished and recertified. New helideck foam skid and monitors were installed and tested. Four new foam monitors were added for process-side firefighting as per the HAZOP study. All LQ indoor and outdoor air conditioning units were repaired and serviced by third-party vendor. Refrigerant is refilled and units are tested. All LQ and galley AC ducts are cleaned. The damaged wet areas, staterooms, and other areas are renovated. All sanitary fittings are replaced and sanitary pipelines are cleaned. New mattresses and blankets are supplied. New capacity of living quarter is 40 persons, which is arranged in one-man and two-man cabins. Helibrief room is renovated with new furniture. Jacking control room is cleaned and floor is renovated. Radio room is renovated. A new recreation room is added with new chairs, TV, and pool table. Sick bay is renovated with new equipment. Existing windows facing process side are replaced with new A60 windows. The washing machines and dryers are refurbished, and laundry floor is renovated. Change room is renovated. The damaged passageways floors are renovated. The mess room floors and furniture are renovated. All the galley equipment are cleaned and refurbished. The chiller and freezer rooms were cleaned and disinfected. Chiller and freezer AC units were refurbished, refrigerant recharged and tested. New utensils are supplied. The aluminum helideck is blasted and remarked as per CAP 437 and DGCA rules. New circle and H lights are installed and commissioned. Helideck friction and safety net drop test completed. New foam system is installed and commissioned. DGCA OLS survey completed and report is submitted to DGCA. The existing mud pit is demolished and cleared for installing the new process knockout drum. One of the mud pits is modified to collect the process area open drains with filtering facility. Zentex designed to convert the mud pit to install the hazardous rated process knockout drum and open drains brings huge cost savings to the project. Main deck starboard side change room and cabins were demolished and converted as process MCC room. New process switch gears are installed and commissioned. The flare tower is designed and installed on top of port leg. Zentech's innovative idea to utilize the extra leg length to install the flare boom brings huge cost savings to HOEC. Existing tool pusher office is converted as process control station. Existing mud lab is removed renovated and reused as process lab facility. The rig's main deck is cleared for installing the process equipment. Zentech designed the foundations with T-beams on main deck to avoid any under deck stiffening. XPro delivered the pipe racks and spools, cables, and accessories to shipyard for installation. Process gas generators, separators, heater treater, compressors are delivered in disassembled condition. Process skids are reassembled and integration is completed by Shipyard. Shipyard completed all the electrical and piping installation and hookups. The process systems are tested and pre-commissioned in Shipyard. Subsea well control equipment is installed and integrated in Shipyard. J-tube and riser pipes for subsea umbilical are installed on the leg bracings. The well fluids inlet risers, oil and gas export risers are designed and installed on the legs bracing. Inclining experiment is completed after the conversion. Marine operating and installation procedure are completed by Zentech and approved by ABS. ABS has issued the interim class certificate, load line and tonnage certificate pending for final installation at B80. 
the flag and radio registry certificates are issued, and Vessel is ready to be towed to India for final installation at B-80. The highly experienced Zentech project team completed the project successfully, well within the budget and very short schedule, in coordination with Lamprell Shipyard, XPRO, and various subcontractors.